All right, so hello everyone. This is the beginning of another YouTube video. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. I hope that everybody's New Year is going pretty well and everybody's at least starting to carry out their New Year's resolutions. Now, as for me, I have come here, as you can see in the thumbnail, to discuss my personal issues and I guess as part of the New Year, make my own resolutions for this YouTube channel and try my best to make this YouTube channel grow. So let me start with the topic. Basically, my name, of course, if you haven't watched this video before, is Jade and I go by Jad Anime 689. I'm a digital artist, a young digital artist who is working towards professionalism and towards improving their skill. I do speed paints, I talk about topics, and generally just relax in the atmosphere as you watch me draw. Now, as for Ethan Becker, he is an incredible artist and a teacher. And by no means am I saying that he's a bad person at all. He's not even discouraging, honestly. I just find him incredibly intense. This doesn't mean that, oh, I'm not a fan of him or well, I can't really identify with what he's saying or listen to what he's saying. He's a very good teacher and I actually do learn from what he says and I do learn from what he teaches. However, for me, I see artists out there and you know, he's like, you do this, this is how you do this and you better do it that way. And if you don't do it that way, then you're wrong, <laughs> then you're wrong. And you know, that kind of approach, that kind of approach, you know he's you know he's being joke he's joking and he's being his himself, which I'm very glad about because it can be hard to maintain who you really are on YouTube. But for me, it's kinda, you know, kinda scary. <laughs> yes, the word scary. So basically I have never really done tutorials, whereas I've heard many people tell me, oh you know. You should probably start doing tutorials or at least start, you know, showing people how your work gets done. And people are telling me, oh, I want to see how you create something. And oh, there's so much I can learn from if I do, if I, if you show me how to do something. Or would you teach me how to do this and how to do that? <laughs> and then I think of Ethan Becker and I'm just like, well, um, <clears throat> for me, Ethan Becker is like that part of my brain that's telling me, you know, He's not that negative part, but he's like, you know, I'm, I'm a young artist. I'm still learning. There are several mistakes in my pieces that I make and I haven't even hit university properly. So, you know, what am I doing telling people what to do? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that artists can't show how they produce their work because there's several artists out there that have tons of styles and ways of doing things and are at different levels or have different amounts of years of experience with art and you know they're showing how they do their stuff how they do hair skin how they do proportions and some people work with what they do some people like what they do some people find it wrong some people don't like it right so you know i should be able to you know just walk up to youtube and be like you know here is my art this is how i create this is my tutorial but i don't want to use the word tutorial the most i'll probably do is my speed paints or showing how i create something through my speed paints because i don't want to instruct people the word tutorial is showing or telling someone how to do something directly and saying, all right, so this is the way I do this and this is the way you should, or this is the way you could do this, right? And as a result, I don't necessarily want to use the word tutorial because I feel like to use that word and at least use it confidently, you know, without feeling any guilt, I have to at least be at the level that Ethan Becker is at, or at least be at a level where I'm past university, I have a degree under my belt, that kind of stuff. Speaking of degree, by the way, degrees nowadays are not that important and we all know that that is a fact, but however, they still do hold some value. You know, you're applying for a job or you're even doing commissions or setting up a website and it asks you your level of education 
and uh, I'm just mentioning my experience as a young artist and I'm like hmm haven't really hit university yet so I'm not necessarily to me I'm not necessarily fully ready to call myself a professional much less give tutorials you know what I mean so for someone like Ethan Becker who is as active and intense as that it's kind of like I'm a bit set off from doing my own tutorials because if say someone like him were to come to me and be like okay so I see what you're doing however I find a mistake here 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 and here I want to be confident in my ability as an artist and my ability as a person to say well you may see so here here and here but proportions in humans and yada 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 go like this and this is why I do that and so on so forth the way that artists do things especially like younger artists may not always be right and I think he said Ethan himself said something in one of his videos I think something about how how you have to practice the right thing instead of just constantly going day in day out and practicing you don't practice as an artist you make sure you practice the right thing or something like that anyway I immediately got what he was saying and I saw that and so I don't want to teach people to practice the wrong thing and then when they actually learn from a professional you know they say oh you know you know that artist that taught me something so I thought that was the way to do it but you know I'm, I'm not finding that way it's basically me just rambling on with like how I think that this is the good way for me to do it but I don't want to dictate on that I don't want to Say this is the right way I don't want to push people in that direction without being fully confident in myself as an artist really I can be any age and teach people anything so long as I'm confident in my abilities and my knowledge of proportions and so on and so forth and as I said in a way a university degree kind of has something to do with that so for me Ethan Becker even though he's intense he's a very good teacher some of what he teaches genuinely helps me and I find it very helpful and I learn from it a lot from the illustration. Now I still, when I see myself making mistakes with proportions, I always think to myself, those are the moments I think, well, I'm not ready for tutorials. Um, I'm not ready to show people, okay, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. And I want some people, you know, people that are skeptical to at least come to me and I can back it up and say, well, I've done this, I've done that, I have these, this amount of experience in visual arts or this amount of experience in character development or whatever. I've studied proportions for so and so and so, I've done this and I have a university degree, which, you know, nowadays is still pretty important. You don't have to go to art school and there are some privileges and disadvantages to going to art school, but in some cases a university degree still helps. The, uni the times where a university degree doesn't help or where it doesn't matter is where your raw skill is so good that they can totally overlook the university, the absence of a university degree and just, you know, take you in. However, I don't think I'm at that level either. So that is pretty much just my take on tutorials, <laughs> tutorials. It's my take on tutorials and giving tutorials and why I, as a young artist especially, I'm scared of making art tutorials and instructing people on what to do. This doesn't go to say that younger artists or artists like me should not do the same thing. As a matter of fact, there's nothing wrong with sharing how you create something or how you paint something or whatever, but um, if you're not confident in yourself as an artist, then I would suggest not doing it because if you're not confident in yourself and you're teaching a method that you're not confident in then you know why should other people be confident in it anyway long story short is that is my take on it and i also switching topics since i'm pretty much done with this one i hope you like my speed paint and i hope that it was relaxing although the conversation was a little bit more intense this time i hope you like my speed paint and to Ethan Becker, who is an incredibly good artist. If you haven't checked him out, you should probably go check him out because he's a really good teacher. And if you want to learn how to draw, <laughs> he teaches you in very interesting, very interesting ways. So yeah, I hope you like the end product. And check my Instagram, link is in the description below. 
click the notification bell, check out all my other videos, like and subscribe and I will be seeing you later. Hope you enjoy everything. Bye!